Reframe, change the channel. Check your self-talk, the worry window. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we would talk about five mind hacks that you cannot live without. These are things that I have learned through research and by talking to professionals in the field of psychology. So I hope you will find them useful. I myself am practicing them in my own daily life. The first one is reframe. When you reframe, you take something that is happening to you and look at it from another perspective. I'm gonna give you an example. If you feel like you can't get stuff done on your own and need to ask for help, a reframe of this would be, hey, I have people that I can lean on, people that support me. Another way to reframe something is, I'm not getting as many tasks done. A reframe could be, well, maybe you were able to put in rest time. It really depends on the situation, but you get the idea. The second one is maybe one of my favorite techniques or mind hacks, and it's called change the channel. So if you have a visual in your mind that's unpleasant, maybe even disturbing, imagine yourself physically standing up, reaching for that remote, and changing the channel in your mind. So switch it out to something that is comforting and relaxing to you. And for me, that's an image of a favorite place or a favorite memory. And it's usually attached to water. Specifically to the beach, because that's something that's very calming and enjoyable for me personally. The third thing would be to check your self-talk. You know that voice that's always telling us things about what we can't do or we're just fooling ourselves. So mind those thoughts and see what messages you're delivering to yourself. Once you catch this, you can replace those negative bits of speech with more positive and loving ones. Like, of course you can do this. It's gonna be difficult, but you've done difficult things before. So be your own inner cheerleader. And this is very closely linked to next mind hack, which is befriend that unpleasant thought. So when you're doing this, you're saying, oh, hi, it's you again. You're telling me I can't, can't get stuff done again. Instead of exerting a lot of energy into pushing the thought away, just let it come in and it will let itself out. One of the mind hacks that perhaps takes the most discipline for me personally is what is known as number five, the worry window. This is an allotted amount of time where you will allow yourself to worry about everything and anything that is weighing you down. Doing this isolates that time and frees you up of a lot of wasted energy because worrying, it's scientifically proven, is addictive. The more we do it, the more we crave it, and then our mind, minds just take over. And that's no good to anybody, not to you, not to the people around you. So I hope these five mind hacks helps you have a more productive, a calmer mind. Please share with us if you have your own mind hacks that help you. We would love to hear in the comment section down below. If you enjoy our content, please hit our logo above. It will lead you to the subscribe button. Share with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and keep going with Silver Jane.